CBS News Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. So, Nancy, Mark Zuckerberg released a preview of his opening statement for Tuesday. He addresses the Cambridge Analytica scandal and says, quote, it was my mistake and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. Will his testimony be largely apologetic or can we expect to see him take a different tone? There's a lot of contrition in that opening statement, Elaine. Uh, just like we've seen from him um, in conversations with uh, reporters and other public statements over the past week or so, that is clearly uh, the tack that Facebook has decided is the best one uh, for him and other Facebook executives to take after remaining relatively quiet on this issue for some time and getting a lot of flack for it. He's also going to say that his original mission for Facebook, connecting people, isn't really enough anymore. That isn't enough of a good in and of itself. That Facebook needs to do more to make sure that those connections are positive. Um, it's very likely, however, Elaine, that he is uh, going to get knocked off of message because he is going to be facing 44 senators from two committees. That's nearly half the Senate, and each of them is going to have four minutes to ask him anything they want. Well, what do lawmakers hope to gain from these hearings? They want to know whether it's even possible to put the cat back in the bag at this point, mm -hmm. whether uh, social networks like Facebook, uh, even if they do beef up their security operations, you know, Facebook says it's adding thousands of people by the end of the year. Uh, is it really possible to safeguard people's data in this day and age? Or um, are bad actors always going to be one step ahead? And are some of these networks just so large? I mean, you're talking about 2 billion users when you talk about Facebook, um, is it ever really possible for Facebook to have a handle on who is using their service, who's using it properly, uh, and who isn't? And, and can they really hope to keep up with identifying that advertisers um, are, are really who they say they are. So that is a big concern uh, among the lawmakers who we spoke to. Uh, it's just that, you know, yes, this Cambridge Analytica incident, they say, is very disturbing, uh, but it's clear uh, we're getting uh, dribs and drabs from pay Facebook to indicate that Cambridge Analytica was not the only company that was able to do this. And the question going forward is whether uh, Facebook can truly claim that it can protect anyone's data when it it's a platform designed to, um, to collect that data, to target advertising to the people who are using it. Well, Nancy, according to the Center for Responsive Politics, members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee, which will question Zuckerberg Wednesday, received a total of nearly $381,000 in contributions tied to Facebook since 2007. Could that have any impact on the questioning? I suppose it's possible, although these hearings often turn into an opportunity for lawmakers to uh, show off their questioning chops, um, and there's no glory in going easy on a titan of industry, uh, particularly one who uh, is widely seen to have um, really slow walked this apology and slow walked a, uh, a proper security response to this Cambridge Analytica incursion. Uh, it's caused the stock price to go down. It's caused some users and even some advertisers say to say they're going to take a hiatus from Facebook. They just don't feel comfortable on the platform right now. So uh, Zuckerberg knows that there is work to be done, but um, my goodness, what an environment to um, have your first hearing take place in, um, Elaine. And, you know, we saw him today really going from lawmaker to lawmaker, having these one-on-one -on -one meetings because he wanted to try to uh, develop those relationships beforehand in the hopes, perhaps, that uh, they'll go a little easier on him in these hearings over the next couple of days. Is requesting Mark Zuckerberg's testimony in person the first step, you think, for Washington to try and regulate Silicon Valley? Certainly, there are a lot of Democrats who hope so. Uh, they believe that um, it's well past time to place some restrictions on how data is handled and on uh, how people advertise on these sites. There's one piece of legislation, for example, that would require social networks like Facebook uh, to ID the organizations who run issue ads on their sites um, so people know who they're getting these messages from. Uh, 
even Zuckerberg said recently that perhaps it's time for Washington to regulate businesses like his more heavily. Now, he can say that because he knows that Congress is controlled by Republicans right now, and they have been uh, working to roll back regulations, not create new ones. And he knows it's uh, pretty unlikely, especially in an election year when Congress is getting less done anyway, that suddenly um, lawmakers would pass some um, very onerous new slate of regulations that his company would have to contend with. But it's good PR uh, for him to show that he is willing to work with Congress to make sure uh, that those safeguards exist when people sign on to the site. He certainly will be in the hot seat starting Tuesday. Nancy Cortez on Capitol Hill. Thanks very much, Nancy. You're welcome, Elaine.